Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamer's game review of the 1985 classic game Ice Climber by Nintendo for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Ice Climber was released as part of Nintendo's action series. This is a one or two player vertical platform game where you play as the Eskimos Popo, who wears the blue parka, and Nana, who wears the pink parka. The story of the game is simple. The evil condor has stolen Popo's and Nana's vegetables and has taken them to the top of the mountain. So Popo and Nana must venture to the top of the mountain to retrieve their vegetables and catch the evil condor. The object of the game is to get the highest score by racing to the top of the 32 mountains and completing as many of them as you can. Each of the 32 mountains are broken up into two sections. The bottom section has eight floors. Once you climb up the eight floors, you reach the bonus section where you have 40 seconds to retrieve the stolen vegetables and to catch the evil condor. The controls in the game are simple. At the title screen, the up and down on the control pad allows you to choose to start from any of the 32 mountains, which is a really cool feature. The left and right on the control pad moves Popo and Nana left and right. The A button makes them jump, and the B button makes them swing their hammers. When you start the game, you get three lives. There are only four enemies to watch out for. The toppies are the creatures that look like yetis. They fill in the missing ice blocks and can kill you. The nitpickers are the birds that fly around and try to kill you. If you take too long, the polar bear will come out and raise the floor on you, which can also kill you. And watch out for the falling icicles. If they fall on you, you lose a life. Some people complain about the controls in this game. I must admit that jumping in this game is difficult and takes some getting used to. But this is still a great classic game. I used to play this game as a kid and I loved it. It's a great one player game and the two player game is even better. You can play the two player game two ways. You can co-op and try to help each other out and clear all the mountains. Or you can play my favorite two player game, which me and my friends played a lot, called Race to the Top, where you try to leave the other player behind and get them killed. Last person alive is the winner and has all the bragging rights. The music and sound effects in the game are pretty good also. The music in the lower section does get a little annoying and repetitive, so I prefer the music in the bonus section. It's a very cool tune and is also used on the title screen. That tune just brings back good memories. If you want to get the highest score, there's only a few things that give you points. You get 10 points for each block you knocked off, 800 points for each nitpicker you kill, 400 points for each pile of snow you destroy, points for each vegetable you collect in the bonus section. These points will increase each mountain. And you also get bonus points for capturing the evil condor. These points will also increase in each mountain. If you run out of time or fall off in the bonus section, you will not lose a life, but you do not get the bonus points for capturing the evil condor. Since jumping in this game can be difficult, and you have to be very precise, do not just jump up then move left or right. I suggest you get a running start and jump at the last second. This takes some practice to perfect. In the later stages you will encounter floors with moving ice. If the ice is slanted down to the left, your character will slide to the left. If the ice is slanted down to the right, your character will slide to the right. Recognize and identify the direction of the slanted ice before you jump up, or you might slide off the floor to your death. Sometimes it's a good idea to let the toppies fill in the blocks of the floor you're on or the floor beneath you, so you can't fall down and lose a life. When your character reappears after you die, your character is invincible until you hit the direction pad or hit any button. So if a nitpicker or a toppy is around, just stand still until they pass, then bring your character back to life. If you're playing two-player co-op, have one player jump up and have the other player jump up underneath them to give them a boost. This is a good way to clear out blocks that are two floors above you. And that brings us to the last tip. The only way to get an extra life is to make it to the bonus section on your fifth mountain and collect at least one piece of corn. 
and you will be rewarded with a 1-up by the video gaming gods. So this concludes my video game review of Ice Climber. I have to score this game a solid 8 out of 10. The jumping in the game isn't the greatest, but that makes this game challenging and fun. It's an awesome one-player game, and even a more awesome two-player game, and is a must-have for any true classic gamer.